Hey everybody, quick update. Just wanted to let you know what was going on um, with the 86 Fox body and uh, kind of some winter projects. But if you notice, uh, what we have different here is uh, we switched over. We're going to try out these uh, these Promax uh, cylinder heads. Um, I've still got my trick flows. They're on uh, they're on my stock 86 block. And the reason I switched them is because the 86 has the has the as the real uh, the true flat top pistons, so the trick flows with the with the uh, valves in a different position has enough clearance with these flat tops here. I've run them on this engine before and they were fine. So for those, and then uh, we mocked up the Promax. Um, we did mock up the Promax, and I measured uh, piston to valve clearance with these 86s, and it was only like 30 thousandths. So obviously not enough to run the Pro Max on there. So we figured uh, we'd switch it over to this, to this blueprint uh, short block here, um, and the piston to valve clearance on here on the on the intake side, which is the closest, was um, ninety thousandths. And um, I know most places say to you know you should have a hundred thousandths, but I think I'll be fine with ninety. Um, the only thing where that's holding us up is one push rod I did I measured for push rods and I ordered I found a set on eBay which you know a set of uh, chromoly push rods is like you know over a hundred bucks so I found a, a used set in the um, 6.45 is what I is what I need for this and I found a used set on eBay of manly push rods they're they're good push rods they're like hundred twenty dollar push rods but anyway ordered a set um, and it only came with 15 in the set. So the guy um, was really cool, Wilson Motorsports. He was really cool. Um, he said he'd check in his garage, see if he had the other one. His advertisement did state uh, for 16, but um, he only had 15. So anyway, he refunded my money, but I actually told him, um, I'll give you, you know, I ended up paying um, $50 with shipping for the whole set of push rods. So I told him, hey, just cover me for whatever it cost me to, to replace the one missing push rod. And I, I actually PayPal'd him back um, 30, 30 of the $50 um, because it, it ended up costing me um, $10 for a single and then $10 for shipping. So from Speedway Motors. But anyway, so I'm just waiting to get the one more push rod here. And we'll get the, we'll set the valves and get this thing fired back up. Should be here Tuesday. But nonetheless, uh, you know, with this blueprint short block, it does have the um, hyper pistons with the valve reliefs. So that gave me um, 90 thousandths clearance on the intake on here. And I just wanted to show kind of uh, if you can see down the kind of the, the port alignment here is uh, pretty decent. I don't know if you can see down in there or not, but. I cleaned up uh, just a little bit of casting flash. These are actually pretty nice out of the box. I just did it kind of kind of port matched with the uh, with the System Max 2 and the and the Felpro uh, 1262 gasket. So I'm uh, pretty happy with these. They come with a pretty looks like a pretty nice valve job on them. Pretty quality stuff. Uh, these springs are supposed to be good to 600 lift. So we're gonna give these a shot and see. If we can do um, a little bit better than our 1155 at the next test in tune, which um, I'll be going to in Sacramento Raceway, will be uh, January 16th. They do have New Year's drags, but you got to pay for the whole weekend, and I just want to do the test in tune for now so that we get dialed in here. So, other than uh, the cylinder head change, the only other thing we're changing on the car from the 1155 pass is we've made. An adjustment looking at our data logs we made an adjustment to the clutch tamer I sent the data log over with my rpms and how the car reacted on the shifts to um, grant that makes these clutch tamers and he suggested I needed two more turns um, on the inside on the inside knob there um, he, he said the clutch was slip, slipping too much which it was kind of obvious on the graph so anyway, we'll see uh, what that does there. And then obviously we're trying the new cylinder heads. 
I'll have an update on that on January 16th. And then we'll be getting this guy together here. Um, again, this is the original 86 that um, I refreshed with um, new bearings, cam bearings. It still has my, my previous uh, shorter duration um, Ed Curtis cam. Um, it does have the flat top pistons and I flipped I flipped the cylinders, um, I flipped the piston banks like uh, Neo Mustangs uh, does. So you can take advantage of the offset and the pistons. So cylinders one through four are on this side and five through eight are, are flipped on this side. So we got that and we'll go ahead and get this buttoned up. We will be running the, uh, and I'll have that ready here soon, but we'll be running the uh, Ported Explorer intake on that. So the same porter that did the trick flow heads, uh, Big Dog's porting. So those two should match up pretty well. And we'll run that combination. And the goal on that is we'll see what this does. And we're going to run this until we max it out. And then I'm going to pull this and I want to go stroker with this uh, block here. Probably a 347. So that'll give me uh, some time to save up for the stroker kit. And we'll pull this one out. We'll put this one in so we don't really have any downtime and we'll run with that so i've got two things to work with and then we'll have a we'll keep one uh, stock bottom ended one and then we'll have a stroker to work with and then after that we'll be um i'm getting pretty close to where we're gonna have to put a state uh put a six point cage in the car and possibly um the like a quick time sfi bell housing and I think there was one other safety item. Um, I'm gonna have to get this spring. I'll probably switch over from. Um, I'll switch. I'll put a spool in the back, and then when I do that, um, see if we can put C-clip eliminators on there. And I think I'll be covered, and uh, safety-wise, I'll be covered up to uh, running nine seconds. And other than that, the only other thing we've got in the mail was I did get. Uh, tech asked me for. Um, to get a jacket so i went ahead and got a sfi jacket again off ebay for like 30 some bucks and it's it fits just fine so we gotta gotta start looking at some of the safety stuff now but anyway that's the update i'm waiting for the one push rod it should be here tuesday and then we can get this buttoned up and then uh, we'll just continue working on this i just got these just got these heads torqued down today so i was thinking about going ahead and setting the valve lash on this but obviously not in a huge rush this is just a backup and we'll get it ready um i do want to get uh i actually want to get some more of the uh i know i'm getting low on this right the right stuff here this stuff is great for um you know doing the uh intake uh the china wall the china rail here just a good uh so so i can do that and i can drop Drop the intake on there, at least the lower intake, and get that buttoned up. And uh, that's about it. So hopefully Tuesday, that push rod will come in. We'll get this thing back fired up before Christmas. All right, everybody. Happy holidays.